Well, a half dozen people are under arrest tonight, charged with fraud and exploiting the elderly. They're accused of scamming a 91-year-old woman out of thousands of dollars for home repairs that were never performed. CBS North Carolina's Steve Sprazer reports on the crime targeting seniors. The victim says that all the repairs were supposed to be done beneath her home, but she never could see what kind of work was taking place. Turns out nothing was being done at all. They were supposed to go over there and do some uh, plumbing work, fix a leak, and they were supposed to put new vents in for her and seal them, but none of that was ever done. Yet detectives say the victim was charged $13,000 for the non-existent repairs at her home. By the time the investigation was over, deputies had arrested seven people, charging them with scamming the 91-year-old victim. She wouldn't talk on camera, but other seniors in town say they are targets. But it can happen to all ages, but I really think that gets senior citizens more. And the director of the Nash County Senior Center says that her organization is taking action. We offer safety um, seminars here at the center. We have um, representatives from law enforcement who come to just educate people about what the scams are. They're ever-changing. Scammers are always going to be creative when it comes to wanting to take your money. Word about the scam is spreading around Nashville seniors, one of whom says she tries to safeguard herself in situations like that. How frustrating is it to hear that somebody of some considerable age and trust has been uh, been taken advantage of? It's very disturbing because we're all seniors. I am myself. and But if I need some work done, I'll try to get me a reference from somebody that already know these people. Tonight, investigators are still working the case, saying they're hoping to make one additional arrest as the senior who was scammed waits to see what happens next? The victim told me she was able to stop payment on three of the checks, but a lot of that money is still missing, and she's hoping to get it back when all the cases finally make their way through the court system. In Nash County, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.